Hello guys, this is Mike here at Mac Observer, and today I'll show you how to fix keyboard and trackpad not working on MacBook Pro. Experiencing issues such as your MacBook Pro's keyboard and trackpad not working anymore can be frustrating, especially when you're trying to meet a deadline or complete an important task. Take for example, your MacBook Pro keyboard and trackpad suddenly deciding to go on a sabbatical after you wake it from its peaceful slumber. Or, the horror of your MacBook Pro betraying you after a login. Maybe they decided to protest after you replaced your battery. Whatever the situation, don't worry. I will show you the best fixes for keyboard and trackpad not working issues on MacBook Pro and Mac. Why did my keyboard suddenly stop working on MacBook Pro? A sudden keyboard failure might seem alarming, but there could be several not so grave reasons behind this. A software glitch, outdated operating system, or hardware problems such as a loose connection or damage could be responsible. Unexpected spills or dust accumulation could also cause such issues. It's always wise to keep your device updated, clean, and away from potential harm to prevent issues like the keyboard spacebar not working on Mac. Why is my MacBook Pro keyboard not typing? If your MacBook Pro keyboard is not typing, it could be due to a software glitch or hardware malfunction. Simple software issues can often be fixed by restarting your device or resetting the System Management Controller (SMC). If it's a hardware problem, you might need to consult an Apple technician. Fix MacBook Pro keyboard and trackpad not working after login. If you can use your keyboard and trackpad to log in, but they stop working afterward, a software issue is likely at play. Try booting your MacBook in safe mode and see if the issue persists. This process will only load essential system software and might help identify any software conflicts causing the problem. Here's how to reboot your MacBook in safe mode. Begin by navigating to Apple menu, then click shut down. After your device has completely shut down, keep pressing the power button until you see the message loading startup options. Choose a volume option, usually Macintosh HD. Then while pressing the shift key, select the option to continue in safe mode. The system will automatically restart. Once the login window is visible, you should notice the words safe boot displayed on the menu bar. Check whether your keyboard and trackpad are working now. Reset the SMC and NVRM PRAM. PRAM is a small amount of RAM that a Mac uses to store certain settings and access them quickly. These settings include speaker volume, screen resolution, startup disk selection, and recent kernel panic information, among other system settings. Like PRAM, NVRAM is a type of memory that your Mac uses to store settings that it needs to access quickly. However, the information stored in NVRAM is not cleared when you turn off your Mac. Fix MacBook keyboard and trackpad not working after sleep. If your keyboard and trackpad stop working after waking up your MacBook, it could be due to power management settings or minor software glitches. An SMC reset can often fix such problems. Fix MacBook Pro Air keyboard and trackpad are not working but power button works. As I have already mentioned, simple software issues can often be fixed by restarting your device or performing a PRAM, Parameter Random Access Memory Reset. Resetting PRAM, Parameter RAM, or NVRAM, non-volatile RAM, on your Mac, restores certain types of system settings to their default state. These settings are stored in a small amount of memory that doesn't get erased when you shut down or restart your computer, which is why you may need to manually reset them if you're experiencing related issues. How do I reset my MacBook Pro keyboard and trackpad? Resetting your MacBook Pro keyboard and trackpad can be done by resetting the SMC. This can help solve issues like your Mac not turning on, the fans running too loudly, battery charging problems, or the keyboard and trackpad not working. But remember, this is a pretty serious step in troubleshooting your Mac, so it's not something you should do all the time. Fix MacBook Pro keyboard and trackpad not working after a spill. Firstly, if your MacBook gets wet, immediately turn it off and unplug any connected devices. This helps prevent short circuits that could lead to more extensive damage. Next, try to gently blot, not wipe, the spilled liquid with a soft, absorbent cloth to remove as much of it as possible. After this period, cautiously try turning your MacBook Pro back on. If the keyboard and trackpad are still unresponsive, or you notice any other irregularities, it's best to seek professional help. Fix MacBook Pro keyboard and trackpad not working after battery replacement. Replacement procedures can sometimes disturb internal connections. If you notice issues post-battery replacement, it's possible that the keyboard and trackpad connectors got loose or damaged during the process. 
consider revisiting your technician to check on these possible issues. How do you fix an unresponsive trackpad on a MacBook Pro? First, make sure it's not an environmental problem. Yes, indeed, it's easy to overlook, but sometimes dust particles, liquid spills, or even changes in temperature can affect the sensitivity of your trackpad, causing it not to click anymore. Clean it thoroughly but gently with a microfiber cloth. Fiber. Afterward, you should try booting in safe mode. This will force your MacBook to perform a disk check and clear some caches, potentially freeing up your trackpad from whatever digital chains are binding it. Check out the beginning of this article for the full steps to start your Mac in safe mode. Lastly, you can opt to reset the SMC and PRAM NVRM. These are tiny bits of memory that control certain settings on your device, some of which have a direct influence on the trackpad. Keyboard and trackpad issues can stem from both software and hardware issues. Always start with basic troubleshooting like a device restart or an SMC reset. If issues persist, consult with a professional. Remember, regular maintenance and care are the best ways to prevent these issues. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. I'm Mike here at Mac Observer. See you next time.